Hey there and welcome back to Text Connect a learning center for textile and we'll be discussing desizing today So warp yarns are coated with sizing agents which are basically adhesive and a lubricant Now this is done prior to weaving in order to reduce the frictional properties and decrease the yarn breakage on the loom it gives strength to the yarn It also improves the weaving productivity by increasing the weft insertion speed Now this sizing material is a problem to us as sizing material present on the warp yarns can act as a resistance towards dyes and chemicals in textile wet processing It must therefore be removed or desized before any wet processing of the fabric So desizing is done in order to remove the size from the warp yarns of a woven fabric of a woven fabric yes as netted fabrics and some woven fabrics have double yarn as warp so they do not require desizing now we are talking about removal of size from the fabric so for that it is very important for us to know that what is this size made up of so size material for cotton fabric is comprised of starch and its derivatives like cmc carboxy methyl cellulose so this works as an adhesive along with this we have lubricants like tallow paraffin wax mineral oil now what is the use of these lubricants in a size these lubricants are added to improve the suppleness and the smoothness of the yarn and to get low frictional pro- property which is beneficial for weaving so how do we deal with this starch how do we get rid of this starch is water insoluble so it cannot be washed away directly for this the process of hydrolysis is carried out we break the 1,4 glucosidic linkage and make it water soluble most of the other ingredients are readily removed when the starch is hydrolyzed and are washed away so now considering this there are three hydrolytic methods number 1 rod steeping number 2 is acid steeping and number 3 is enzymatic desizing So let's start with the oldest one rod steeping It is cheaper since it requires no chemicals just water The fabric is passed through warm water with the help of guiding rollers then through the padding mangle or the squeeze rollers which are at 40 degrees celsius after which it is allowed to stand for 48 hours in a pit Now this is where the actual desizing takes place The microorganisms present in the water multiply and secrete starch hydrolyzing enzymes which break down the starch into water soluble products which is then washed away and hence the fabric is desized simple process right Now let us discuss some advantages and disadvantages Number 1 cheaper process and no chemicals required and also the fabric damage is less because you are not using any other chemical except water the disadvantages are low production as the time of treatment is too long and the starch removal is also not completely obtained and the last one is large floor space is required moving on to the next one acid steeping now here we use dilute acid for hydrolysis of the starch hcl or h2so4 at a concentration of 0.25 to 1% owf that is on the weight of fabric at a suitable temperature of about 30 to 40 degrees celsius so the process goes like this the fabric is first impregnated or passed through this acid solution and then batched over on a roller now the roller is covered with a polythene sheet and is kept rotating for about 1 to 3 hours so i'll tell you the reason of using the polythene sheet that is to prevent the outermost layer of the fabric from drying as if it dries up the concentration of the acid might increase and it might tender the fabric so now you guys will let me know in the comments the reason of why the roller is rotated and why is it kept stationary during this time of the batching hydrolysis of the starch takes place converting it into soluble form all right let's see some advantages and disadvantages the advantages are quicker process than rod steeping and better desizing as less floor space is required 
The disadvantage is that if the concentration of the acid is not correct, it can lead to the tendering of fabric as it will damage the cellulose of the fiber. Something that's not very good for us. So the last process and that's enzymatic desizing. We'll be discussing the continuous process. In this process of desizing, the enzymes are directly used under controlled conditions of pH and temperature to liquefy the starch and to make it soluble. Now what are enzymes? Enzymes are biocatalysts. Amylase is used in desizing which is derived from either plant or animal source. Moving quickly towards the process. Now the grey fabric is passed through hot water first and then through the desizing solution which contains water, enzymes, salt, acid or an alkali to maintain the pH. The fabric is then passed using a guide roller over a winch into the dwelling pit. Now this is the key catch. Look at the dwelling pit shown in the figure. Now here the cloth accumulates and assumes a wavy structure. The slope in the pit gives the fabric the required dwell time for the desizing to take place, after which it is taken for washing where it is rinsed. The advantages are the time required is less and it being a continuous process the production rate increases and there is no chance of cellulose getting hydrolyzed because enzymes act specifically towards the target. The disadvantages are if the conditions like the temperature and the pH are not maintained the desizing efficiency of the enzyme is destroyed. So this was it from my side I hope you liked the video. If you have any doubts, do let us know in the comment section below. Do like, share and subscribe our channel. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy.